Hello guys, Douglas from Bolton Reader Metal and today I'm going to give you some facts about the beast from the book of Revelation which John written. So, let's get on. So the book of Revelation is talking about the future. God showed John the future. So, technically, this is what's going to happen in the future, and um, stuff are going to change, people taking marks, uh, called the Mark of the Beast, and, pe and then people um, will be thrown into the Lake of Fire if they take the Mark of the Beast, and um, if you didn't take the Mark of the Beast, you won't be thrown into the Lake of Fire, so let's have our attention right now on what the revelation 13 5 has to say the beast was given a mouth that spoke boastful and blasphemous things and it was given authority to act for 42 months so we're not going on to six right yet so i think that would be that that will be three or four years um, then that will be three or four years before um, Jesus' second coming, um, when that happens. So it's not going to happen, like, in four or three years. We're not going to... Jesus not Jesus might not return in three or four years. We don't know. We don't know. He's returning sometime soon in the future. So we have to be ready every day. So... We so the beast is known as an antichrist. So the second beast, I think the first beast in this, or I forgot. I'm getting confused. I think the first beast was the false prophet. No, I think the second beast was. Um. So Revelation thirteen seventeen says. So it's the, giving you facts about Satan. Satan is lying to us all. Okay, so, 1317 says, it will not allow anyone, the mark of the beast will not allow anyone to to purchase or sell anything unless the person has the mark of, with the beast or, its, or with the name of its number. So the name of its num the number of the beast is 666. Now, some people say that's the devil's phone number. The devil doesn't have a phone. The devil, there's, there's, and anyway, the devil's not in hell. Some people think that, but he's not in hell. He's, um, he's, um, there's a, there's a, um, there's a verse that says, in the Bible that says, the devil is going out like a lion looking for someone to devour. So, that, so we'll come on to that verse in another video. So, I'm giving you some facts about the mark of the beast and the beast and what Satan's doing to us. So, Satan is making it hard for the Christians who don't want to take the mark of the beast really worse for them. I'm not going to take it going to be really worse for them if it's really worse for, for the Christians we're going to die but guys we're going to be in the judgment the people that haven't taken the mark of the beast or it's, and accepted Jesus as their Lord and Saviour they accepted Jesus as their Lord and Saviour and repented of all their sins and received the Holy Spirit yeah they're gonna be, they're gonna be um, in the New Jerusalem. But the people that took the mark of the beast are gonna be thrown in the lake of fire. So we have to be ready to to actually for that time to cut, um, have to be ready to say no. Guys, you have to learn how to say no. It's true. Every Christian must learn how to say no, because then you're gonna, then you're going to have, then you're gonna give up. You're gonna feel weak. You're gonna give up. Then 
if you don't know about this, Christians, you're in danger of being deceived. So, so, um, so we can't, we can't buy or sell if we don't have the mark of the beast. So, we're, I'm going to describe the beast. Revelation 13, um, 2, oh wait, 13, um, 13, 1. And I, w and I saw a beast coming out of the sea. It had ten horns and seven heads. Each of its horns was decorated with a royal crown. And on its heads were blasphemous names. So, then it describes onto animals. Um, it's mixed up with animals, the beast is. Two, um, Revelation 2, the beast I saw was like a leopard, its feet was like a bear's, its mouth was like a lion. So, it had a leopard's head, but a lion's mouth. Right, okay, if picture a leopard in your head, you know their mouths look similar to lions, but... Lions are much bigger and theirs is much smaller. So, that proves that um, it's way different to map. Their mouths are way different. So, and then, so that's what it looks like. So, I'm reading um, some verses from the, Re Re the book of Revelation. Revelation 13.7 This is what the beast could do. It was allowed to make war on the saints and gain victory over them. It was given authority over every tribe, people, language and nation. All who... So, in the Revelation... 13 8 all who live on the earth worshipped it some christians some people don't work so the bible doesn't mean like everyone including me you and like other people watching this video with you if you do have other people watching the video with you um let me pause this video. okay guys this guys I paused the video this for. We're going to carry on back to the book of Revelation. But first, we're going to go down to the Old Testament. So, the Ten Commandments. And God's... So, so Exodus 20... Um, so, Exodus 20... Um, 20 to 1. And God spoke all these words saying... I am the Lord, y your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not. So, so, you you know what I'm gonna. You know what this is. The Ten Commandments. And. In the end times, when this actually happens, already in the end times, but when this actually, when the beast comes, when this actually happens, you're gonna have to follow all the, those commandments. I just, um, well, all the commandments, not just like um, the first commandment. Yep, you have to follow the first commandment too, but every other commandment. <laughs> So, oh, so um, so what? So Revelation A um, so so I'm explaining that. That means um, what it means by it, um, everyone on the earth, everyone on the earth whose names are not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I'll get to that book, um, in another video. Um, all the names that hadn't been written in hadn't been written from the from the time of the earth was made in the scroll of life of the lamb who was slain okay 
um, Chris, so then I'm gonna um, read Revelation 13:10. If anyone taken to be taken captive into captivity, they will go. If any are killed by the sword, then they are killed by the sword. This calls for endurance and faithfulness part on the part of the saints. So that that verse is explaining what's going to happen to people that don't take the mark of the beast. No matter what the punishment is, don't take the mark of the beast. So, that's going to have to be the end of this video. And see you guys next time. Goodbye. And also, yeah, I don't say goodbyes, remember? God bless you.